And the French invite the British to a conference in, that's going to take place in Paris in January of 1939 to discuss code-breaking problems, and in particular the problem of the Enigma. Bertrand, who is the mover and shaker behind this, thinks it's a bit suspicious that he handed all this stuff over to Lange in Poland in 1931, and he hasn't heard a whisper since then about whether the Poles have actually made any progress or not. So he invites the Poles to this conference as well. So the three countries turn up to the conference in Paris, and they earnestly discuss the problem of the Enigma machine. And everybody agrees that the problem of the Enigma machine is a very difficult problem, and it's very important that they should solve it, and they should solve it as soon as possible. Which is kind of a little bit deceptive on the part of the Poles, really. But if you think about it, who are you going to tell which allies do you think are real allies? Which ones do you think are fickle? To what extent are you really willing to trust people with the secrets of your own intelligence gathering? This is a problem not um, specific to 1939. This is a problem specific to all eras. So I don't think it's surprising at all that the Poles said nothing at this meeting in uh, um, January 1939. And you might think, therefore, the conference was a complete failure. But it, I don't think it was, because two things come out of it. One in particular is this. Uh, this is the uh, Memorandum of Agreement. Um, it's in French, but it's by Bertrand. And it's the intelligence cooperation agreement of 1939 and it says for uh, greater convenience and discretion from now on we're going to call ourselves by the following abbreviations x is paris y is london and z is warsaw 